Refugees in this camp in central Gaza pack up their belongings once again. The UN-run school had been providing shelter to Palestinians within the Nusayrat camp, but heavy Israeli strikes are forcing them to flee south. People don't know where to go. First we're displaced here, now to Rafa. We keep getting stuck from one place to another. It's a similar story just five kilometres south in Magazi, where refugees woke up to the sound of bombs on Wednesday. We woke up at 5.30 a.m. to pray. We were civilian men. We opened this door so people could go and pray. Suddenly, a bomb fell, and I don't know what happened after that. In the past few days, Israeli strikes have reportedly killed dozens of people in several refugee camps across central Gaza. The military says it's now also expanding its ground operations, warning the war with Hamas will last for months. Our forces are fighting in a number of central locations in Gaza. One, in the area called Al Buraj, where we've been fighting for three days, killing many terrorists and destroying terrorist infrastructure. The second is Khan Yunus. Smoke has been hanging over Khan Yunus for the past couple of days. People have gathered here to mourn the death of several Palestinians killed in a hospital. As Gazans follow instructions to relocate further south, none have found the safety they're hoping for. 1.9 million Gazans are estimated to have been displaced so far. A UN-appointed expert is accusing Israel of working to expel its civilian population.